All right, Shola Wong. This is her one by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, like Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha Raka Kodash, Ma Mah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> As you know, uh, yesterday, People, uh, Jake, here in America was cele celebrating Esau's uh, holiday. <clears throat> All right. Um, what they call uh, Fourth of July. All right. Uh, I call it Abomination Day. Just like on their uh, celebration of New Year's. Uh, but mostly on this Fourth of July um, madness. People get on to these abominable plates, and you know, just like on Thanksgiving, all of their uh, holidays or folly days, because the word holiday is the same same word as holy day. So this this is a day that they chose to separate to themselves to celebrate, and and two thirds of our people they love to have it so they envy the oppressor, they follow at them, right? <clears throat> Uh, this guy here, I don't know who he is. I just picked any video I could. But as I picked it, you know, I, was, I, I typed in 4th of July, um, uh, people eating pork. <clears throat> so, you know, the bar uh, barbecue and pork. And this is the first video that popped up. And I'm sure y'all can see all this shit. I ain't see the nails. <laughs> Truly an abomination, man. This whole... <clears throat> I didn't, I'm not going to watch this guy's video, but it, it's just like that uh, that woman with the long nails, Jake. But the woman with the long nails that be eating shrimp and crab and all that abomination, man, full of diabetes and gout, all kind of other um, physical ailments, most likely, if not now, but in the future. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Uh, that's what they're into on these holidays. Uh, folly. All right, abominations. Idol worship. A lot of them anoint themselves, go out, put cologne, and women put perfume. They say their prayers. Let us have a good day today. The, and they go into the, the barbecue. Everybody meet up, putting on their best gear. And then they go out there and they um, eat those abominable foods, man. Destroying itself, praying to an idol, you know. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures with that in mind. I got this one video I want to play uh, after I read this first scripture. It says, um, it says, Here you go, this is Second Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, tokens represent the prophecies or the signs. Behold, the days come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, man. So two-thirds of our people are taken into that dark mindset, to the shadow of, of, of um, America, shadow of Egypt, the shadow of darkness, the shadow of Sodom, right? So they're, what, they, they're taken in a great number, man. Look at the males of our nation that are, that got their minds stuck in this place. Look at his nails. And the earring and shit. And his fucking lips. You get what I'm saying? And, and the fucking plate. Got nothing but pork on it. Shrimp and lobster. If I play, if I hit play on this damn video, it's a video, it's not a picture. But if I hit play on the video, matter of fact, I'm gonna do it. Hey, look at this shit. I'm not gonna. This wasn't planned, but I just want to see what y'all see, man. Check this out. <laughs> look at Jake. Look at him. Look, look, look at him. I know it's tough to, but look at him. <laughs> look at the little girl. Look at, look at this nigga. I mean, ninja. TNT, that ninja there. Look at look at it. Look, look. Crazy, man. <clears throat> so, yeah. Bomb. 
All right, now I'm going to show you one more video. All right, yeah, this just popped up yesterday, man. You ever had fried snake? <laughs> yeah, man. Hold on, I got to get off the scripture real quick. One moment. Yeah, buddy. One second, let me get this one scripture. <clears throat> This is um, Jeremiah 5 and 22. Because every time Jake makes some money, if we was in Africa and they was making all this money, they'd be doing African shit, Hamite stuff. If we was in China and they was making money, they'd be doing Moab stuff. We're amongst Esau and Jake started making money. Boom, they're doing Edomite stuff. When we was in slavery, we wasn't allowed to celebrate with, with Esau. 4th of July, I think, I always forget the date, 1776, let me get it, I always forget the damn date, <clears throat> 4th of Jews lie, alright, it was called what, the, uh, the Battle of Independence, alright, America's Independence, Independence Day, but we wasn't free, the word independence goes into freedom, but we wasn't free. That's why Jake celebrate Juneteenth. Look at the um, Native Americans and the Latin and the rest of the Latino tribes. We weren't free. We were still in slavery. All right. Excuse me. All right, it was yeah, seventeen seventy six. All right. So yeah, we were still in slavery, man. So. No, and that's why that's why a lot of Jakes celebrated on June nineteenth. All right, because they feel like they were freed from slavery on that day. Um, I think it was the Emancipation Proclamation or something like that. Um, so now they'll celebrate Juneteenth and they'll celebrate this mess, man. Now, if you're around your family and they got a they got a bar they got a plate for you and you eat it, you're not wicked for eating it. You just pray over it. And um, you know you don't you don't want to forcibly take part in these barbecues with your, with these uh, family these people out here, man. Me and my family we just stay away from all of it just to be safe, man. I don't need no plate. I eat something else that day, all right. But if you do and you're hungry and you got no food, you know you get you a plate. Even Elder Pastor Hart put it out there: you're not wicked, as long as there ain't no abominations on it, as long as you ain't praying with them. You know what I'm saying? So. But we're not supposed to take part in all this madness, man. All right? Why? Because look. This is why. Jeremiah 5 and 28. It says, They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They try to outdo Esau. Look at doing cooking snake. You see, you see Esau doing that. Cook, cooking alligator and all that, man. They judge not the cause. The cause of the fatherless. Yet... They prosper in the right of the needy. They do not judge. Even today, their judgment is out of whack. They say, raise up a child in the way they should go, and they should not depart from it. They try to raise, you know, our generation before us, a lot of them raised us up on these holidays. All right? <clears throat> so, just like Easter, which is Ishtar Day, pagan-ass holiday. That day is just a day, but the, the celebrations they do, it's a tradition that um, commemorates idolatry. So just like today, they're celebrating the freedom of Esau to put more hell on us. That's what happened. 1776, they were freed from the grip of uh, Britain and Europe, uh, gained its independence, you know, um, the 13 colonies. And then they they, they uh, begin to link up with the West col Western colonies of Amer United States, and then uh, later traded and bought, I think Florida from Spain, and other areas from Britain, and so on and so on, until they got the whole fifty states, United States, <clears throat> gaining this independence spoken of in Daniel chapter seven. All the three wars. That helped to establish America. That wasn't to help establish us. 
They gave them their freedom so they can have more power and put us even lower on the totem pole. Using us in their wars, giving us slop, what they, today they call soul food. All right. Anybody that'll eat this, they'll eat a human in the in the in the right um situation. So their deeds overpassing the deeds of the wicked, man. Why? Because the Lord told us we should know better. The Lord said, "You alone have I known of all the families of the earth." All right. So you, so the Lord said, He'll punish us for all all our iniquity, man. This is wickedness. That's why judgment gonna start at the house. Jacob's trouble coming. Second Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens or signs and prophecies, what to look for. Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, man. So they all, there's a lot of people that celebrate this. Cele that celebrate Christmas, that Thanksgiving, Halloween, all these different um, li lines of wickedness, man. Paths of wickedness. The traditions all right i'm a proud american i'm american but, but you know that's what they're saying just like um in the book of acts it says um our people the wicked amongst our people they in their hearts they wanted to go back into egypt so just like in their heart today the lord has set the world in their heart and they want to stay in this place they want to stay in these conditions passed around between two parties democratic and republican passed around between all these different religions you know under the shadow of egypt shadow of america and that darkness but iniquity shall be increased all right and the way of truth shall be hidden see it's hidden from them and the land shall be barren of faith man so that goes with amos chapter 9 the lord shall close up the breaches thereof meaning the truth is going to be closed off to them. Romans 11 and 7. But, and the land shall be barren of faith, man. They have no faith in the Lord, believing in what they can't see. Getting in order with Yahweh Bashem Yahushah and righteousness. All right? So, this land is barren of faith except for the elect. All right? Especially once the elect are taken out of here, it's going to be nothing but wickedness on the earth. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, man. So all the iniquity and wickedness is increasing because of their beliefs. That's the core value is their beliefs, man. And, their, and what they have faith in or the lack thereof. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou has heard long ago, right? Because the rulership has changed. Even at that time of wickedness, during the times of Ezra, all right, I think uh, 452 uh, BC and prior, all right, but that's when he became an elder when they were building the walls of Jerusalem during the times of like Nehemiah. All right, they call Ezra the uh, elder. All right, so um, during that time, you had Xerxes and Artaxerxes ruling the Persians. So they had their vibration over everything, which is still wicked. Today, Esau. Let's give it. Let's get that. So um, big difference, boy. <clears throat> this is Job nine to twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, and um. If not, where and who is he? So this earth now is given to the the wicked, <laughs> like the super wicked. Let's get that real quick. Uh, what was that? Um, okay. <clears throat> it says this. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, Hebrews 12 and 16 lest there be any fornicator meaning idolater man worshiping other uh, just idols 
lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, meaning he had no faith at all. For right, so this person is is uh well, profane. So the Lord told us this. All right, so you know, Jake was sitting at that table with Esau. That's why the scriptures say, put a knife to thy throat if you be driven to eat the dainties of the rich, which is like, uh, even there in slavery, they give a slop. Today they call it soul food. Basically the trash, man. Our people would sort, our people would sort through it and pick all the shit out. And it'd be like the pork, clams, oysters and shit. T eating the tongue of that mess, uh, pig feet you get the feet they want to get the whole pig pig tail shrimp lobster <clears throat> that, that's the delicacies too they like damn I can, someday we'll be able to eat caviar now what you see Jake eating you watch Noriega and all these rappers that have went straight Hollywood in a sense and they, they get to that status now they eating caviar. You know, fish eggs and shit. Raw eggs. Raw eel and shit like that, man. Jake down in the country. They eating deep fried snake. How about the Lord said, um, this right here. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, man. We're not supposed to envy these damn devils. The one that he put over us right now. Deuteronomy 28 part of the curses we're not supposed to envy them and it says what and choose none of his ways right all right so <clears throat> they were originally the cavemen so they would be eating snakes and rats and just putting the fire to it and eating it that they call the barbecue they'll be eating bats and shit you know <clears throat> So we're not supposed to choose none of his ways, man. Don't choose that over the Lord's ways. That's why you hear the, the prophets out in the streets saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. The righteous way, the way of Yahweh, the way of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Not Esau's way. All right? The way of Esau is the crooked way, being wicked and blindness and darkness. For the froward, all right, so the froward, meaning the hard-headed ones, basically uh, being rebellious towards the Lord. For the froward is an abomination to Yahweh, man. See that? Just like that snake. That's how the Lord look at them. Abominations. All right, the ones that are hard-headed, hard to deal with. You try to teach them, they like, no, nah, man, I love my pork. If he ain't wanted to eat pork, why'd he make it? I know y'all heard that before. For the froward, the, the froward or hard-headed is an abomination to Yahweh. But his secret is with the righteous, man, right? Because um, they say rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, man. That was Jake doing. You know? Uh, everybody know, 4th of July, what they gonna do at night? Start shooting. Bullets go up, bullets come down, hit people. Now they killing people and shit. And um, Esau sell their little fireworks, and trinkets and shit. Pork prices go, pork sales go up through the roof. All of, all of the abominable foods, barbecue setups at the store. You go into the store, they got everything on the front aisle, barbecue. Next holiday coming up. What's next? Uh, July, September, October. Oh shit, they got that October mess. Uh, uh, Halloween, the day, the, you know, the day of the dead that they celebrate. So, you, you go to the store, it's going to be a new theme. You know what I'm saying? The same root, same process over and over again, man. Sweat equity slaves. All right. Um, Proverbs 3 and 32. It says, for the frower is an abomination to Yahweh. Uh, but his secret is with the righteous 
the the curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked man. So even in these churches and amongst Jake. Yeah, it's amongst Esau. The curse is going to be upon them. But I'm talking about amongst our people. That, that's not supposed to be taking part in this madness. All right. So the curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked. But he blesses the habitation of the just, man. So if you go into the habitation of the hopeful elect of Israel, they're going to be keeping the Passover, the, the eight holy days, the day of atonement, the feast of unleavened bread, you know, so on and so on. Feast of blowing the trumpets. All right. You're going to have Hebrew around. Things like that. Um, so let's get. I'm going to play this video real quick. Look at this dude, man. Fried snake? Hell no, we don't. All right, Isaiah 66 um, <clears throat> and 16. For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. So the Most High gonna have his own barbecue. All right, the word plead means to judge. So Yahweh's gonna have his way. Since they laughing and mocking or not caring or blocking them out, treating them in vain. He's not important, but well, he's going to do the same thing to them. And he's going to cook them as well. And America is the grill. This is the hot plate. The Lord said what? There you go. You want a barbecue? The Lord got a barbecue for your ass. It says this, Ezekiel 24 and 9. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, woe to the bloody city, man. This is a bloody uh, uh, city, man, where we, our people, our blood was shed. And this, this, this um, country was built on the backs of slaves. Their flag was uh, painted with the blood of slaves, man. That red that you see today symbolically. All right, and natives, Native Americans, them. So that's what them stripes represent, you know, to to the to the uh, American um, slaves in the past. All right, who was that? Um, Frederick Douglass. He wrote, "What is the Fourth of July to a slave?" You gotta watch that and read it if you can. And he stood up in front of a bunch of Edomites and read that. What is the fourth? of July to a slave it's deep man Ezekiel 24 and 9 therefore thus say if Yahweh the power woe to the bloody city man destruction to judgment to this place not celebrating with it I will even make the pile for fire great see the Lord setting up his own barbecue this is a place of his sacrifice something that's made to be burned heap on the wood yeah, put the word on there. Keep being wicked. Keep being wicked. Dabbling in your iniquity. Get worse and worse. Wax worse and worse. Put snakes on there now. All kind of shit. And spice it well. Yeah, get real wicked. Get, get nasty with it. Get abominable with it. Yeah, go ahead. All right. And let the bones be burned. Then set it empty upon the coals thereof. That the brass of it may be hot and may burn. See the Lord kindling the fire. All right, as they're doing their wickedness, the Lord is kindling the fire, bringing all the judgment upon the earth. Like he turned the fire, like he just like he did with the snake. Look, 
Let's start off real slow. This is what the Lord doing. That's how the Lord gonna start digging trouble little by little. Look. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. <laughs> the abomination out. Then it now um then set it upon the coals thereof. It's time of judgment. The brass of it may be hot. This place is uh, hot, man. It's starting to um, heat up. You know, the atrocities in America is like a pot. Read Zechariah chapter 5. The ephah, right? Um, and said it that it may be hot and may burn. It's going to be painful. And that the filthiness of it may be molten in it. Well, he said, I will leave you there and melt you. That the scum of it may be consumed, man. She have wearied herself with lies. This was really talking about Jake, I mean, our, uh, Israel in our land. But now it's talking about America. That have wearied itself with lies. Who has scum and slavery. Everything's still here as a witness to this place. And the mindset of Jake. Shows the results of what Esau did to us, what the Most High allowed Esau to do to us. All right. Um, that the scum of it may be consumed. See, that's the whole focus. The wickedness of this place has to be consumed. She have wearied herself with lies, and her great scum went not forth out of her. Even to this day, two thirds, the scum has not went out of them. Or, you know, really. In this sense, we'll be talking about a place, which would be America, the people. Her scum shall be in the fire. So all the shit they're doing, the Lord going to catch them while they're doing that shit. Alright? So that's why it says, um, let me get this real quick. Right? It says Job 5 and 14. It's really talking about Esau, but two-thirds is going to be caught up in this as well. They meet in, with darkness in the daytime. See? Just like the plagues of Egypt, when the Lord brought darkness in the midday, well, as they partying and bullshitting and, and everything looks bright, the Lord going to bring in the night. They're going to bring judgment upon them. And when that happens, when the kingdom comes in, these people are going to be doing this. And they grope in the noonday as in the night, man. See that? So while they partying, they're going to be met with judgment soon, man. And when that judgment comes, it's going to be in the midst of them partying and bullshitting and in their abominations. All right? So they're going to meet with it. The Lord going to bring it to them. Isaiah 66 and uh, 16. It says here, um, For by fire and by his sword will Yahweh plead with all flesh. There go your barbecue right there. All right, the missiles. is going to cook this place. And the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Right? Many, right? The slain of Yahweh shall be many. Many people. They, not just Jake, but these heathens as well in this place. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the, in the garden, or rather, they sanctify themselves before they leave, and they get all set up and cleaned up and geared up, get each other right to get their families together, and they go out to these barbecues, man. That's the only time families come together in, in this society. It's for, it's for wickedness. All right. Um, and then they go out into these gardens or what you would call parks, you know, and they, um, and they pray out there and shit. <laughs> they gather in circles and they pray to the Jeebus or they, they, if they're Muslim, they still be on this shit. <clears throat> then 
they that sanctify themselves. <laughs> and that's when you go to the barbecue and you find out you got a cousin that's like this. <laughs> you know how it goes. Hey, cuz, oh, cuz, what happened to you? Change, man. I ain't seen you since the last barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's turned inside out. It's America, man, working on them. <laughs> they sanctify themselves and purify themselves, man, in the gardens behind one tree in the midst. So, you know, because in the ancient times, our people used to say prayers up under the myrtle trees and stuff like that. They'd find a tree that was like our privacy if you was out in the um, wilderness or something. You'd find a big giant tree with shoots and Get up under it, pray, all right, for privacy. So they do they do that today. They look for some shade, shady area to set up their barbecues with their abominations. Then they say their prayers and shit. You know they usually have an obese woman sitting there praying and shit, or one of these, or a church pastor, <laughs> so they can feel better. So they do this behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, man, which is abomination, deadly, sickening, disease-filled, right? Pigs, pigs sweat on the inside. They don't even have pores to let the toxins out. So when you eat that, you're eating their toxins. They have enzymes that destroy anything they eat, even down to rats and dead bodies that they eat of other uh, pigs and poop and feces, all these different um, uh, um, disease-ridden uh, germs, uh, uh, you know, dead flesh. Well, when people eat that, those enzymes begin to break the human body down. All right, this irregulates the blood sugar, destroys the pancreas, causing diabetes, causing high blood pressure, all the salt intake, too much you know, of the salt. All right, the ink and the poisoning that's in lobster and shrimp. They soak up, they're like filters of the ocean. They soak up all the toxins from the ocean. So, yeah, man. Cockroaches of the sea, shrimp. Um, scorpions of the sea, lobster. All right. Spiders goes into crabs. You know they don't have crabs on you. Oh my goodness. So they, yeah, they do that, man. They they're eating swine's flesh in these at these barbecues. And the abomination, the mouse, see it's like the snake. In the ancient times they used to eat rats and shit. They they got them in New York now in the grocery stores. What kind of rat you want? What size rat? See that? They're approving this mess, man. The FDA approved it, so we might as well do it. Well, no, God didn't approve it. Yahweh didn't approve it in the scriptures. All right? Um, he said he changed not. The abomination. So they're eating swine's flesh. The abomination. And the abomination. The abomination represents other um, uh, foul animals or creeping things like snakes. All right? Other unclean that word abomination means other unclean things. That's what it means right here in Isaiah 66 and 17. So the swine's flesh, other unclean animals, the foods, they, they the mouse, the rat. All right, they probably got that Chinese food. <laughs> Shall be consumed together, say if you're how. So they're all going to be melted together, consumed. There you go. All right, so um, the Lord said he's going to leave them there. He's going to melt them, man. <clears throat> All right, so that's why they're taken in great numbers, so the Lord can bring his judgment upon them. All right, let's get this. Uh, it says here, Jeremiah 8 and 3, And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family. See, the two-thirds. That's the ones that remain that are of the two-thirds, man. The remnant that are, that are wicked. 
which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, saith Yahweh of hosts, man, right? And, and, and the scriptures call Israel wild grapes, the wicked. Wild grapes grow anywhere, they absorb from the environment, and they become toxic and poisonous. So anything they say or do becomes a cancer to our nation, man. Cancer, a, a, a abomination for our people. A, a wicked influence amongst our nation. All right. So this goes back to the Greeks with uh, Antiochus Epiphanes when he tried to force our people to eat pork, swine. And a, a, a lot of our people followed after them and said, let's follow the ways of the heathen. All right. So this is a Greek holiday, man. It ain't got nothing to do with us. America being free. So the Lord said this. Ephesians 5 and 11. And have no fellowship, man. We're not supposed to be around that shit, really. But if you're around it, you like be like a thorn in their side. Hey, man, you eating that pork, that's wicked. Yeah, you celebrating this folly day. That's it. You might not even go. Because that would be me. I'd be messing everybody the whole day up. Or get me a uh, plate and bounce. But I wouldn't want to touch nothing. I wouldn't want to touch nothing, man. It was like Patty LaBelle. I'd be like, let me get some macaroni and cheese. Like, what can you eat? You know what I'm saying? So it's better to make something at home, man. Make a salad or something. Shit. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, man. Look at Daniel. Um, When they try to give him the abominable foods to eat, the king's meat in his table. Well, Daniel chose to eat pulse and vegetables which are the seed of vegetables and fruit. And they came out healthier and stronger than anybody that ate all this madness here at the king's table. All right? They're not telling you to watch your diet in this society. America's one of the top nations that's obese right now. You look at them over in China, they slim. North Korea, not so much because he ordered a lot of cheese and shit, but they're all slim. Even the women are like a size where you can pick them up. That's how it used to be. But this is Second uh, Ezra 16 and 21. Um, no, 19. Behold, famine. <laughs> Famine's coming. Lack of food. Man, they ain't gonna have no food. Ah, uh, kind. Yo, if there's a famine, and I pray that we all protected the elect, the hopeful elect, and all hell break loose, and then the days go by, and there's no food, then the one of the, I hope it's around 4th of July. I just want to sit there at the barbecue and watch these people. <laughs> Not celebrating today. <laughs> Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, all this hell shit is happening to our nation for correction, chastisement to our people. But they've taken that chastisement from the Lord, us going into slavery, the deaths amongst our people and sicknesses and shit. Those are signs that say, hey, change your ways as a nation, as a people. It says, but, so it's gorgeous for amendment, for correction. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, man. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, they're not always mindful of it. That these things are happening to our people because of their choices. Because their choices in the abominable table. The diet, to, they're disrespecting the Lord's dietary laws that he gave to our nation. You know, in the holy days that the Lord gave to us. And the God, the king that Yahweh gave to us, Yahweh Shah. And the name that the Lord gave to us, Yahshua Allah, and the salvation. So they disregard all of that and the Holy Spirit of truth and righteousness, the laws. All right, so they're not mindful of any of that. Behold, victuals, meaning food and raiment, shall be so good cheap upon the earth. So you can go buy this big ass plate. They can go buy this big ass python snake. You probably caught that shit, but 
They can go to the store and buy a whole pig if they want. Man, it's cheap right now. Price is going up, but it's still cheap in a sense. But because of that, it says what? They said they wax fat and they kick, man. They, 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 Jake increased. Just like when the Lord moves us into Canaan and we increased as a nation, they started rebelling against the Lord. So when the Lord let us, we was in slavery, oh Lord, free us, I'll do anything. So when the Lord let us, <laughs> so the Lord took them chains off. And Jake running around like a, a chicken with his head cut off, man. Look at him. Back in the damn food. All right, acting new, <laughs> as they say amongst our people. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Think they're in the kingdom. The Lord said, what? Arise, for this is not your damn rest, man. This ain't it. We're going to be able to eat anything in the kingdom because it's going to be righteous food. All right. <clears throat> Um, and they gonna think themselves to be in good case, man. That's why they partying and bullshit. And even then, shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Right, just because the battle and the war ain't break out here yet, that don't mean it's not gonna happen. It's happening all around the world. But here, people can still eat. People can still party. They can still go to the club, just like in uh, Ukraine. They says uh, now that the war is broken out, that nightlife has increased. Excuse me, especially with the loans from America, financial loans, that nightlife has shot through the roof, partying. See that they they think themselves to be in good case, but Russia bearing down on the ass. All right, so yeah, man. Um. Yeah, you know, so I'm going to end it there. But death is being chosen uh, rather than life, man. By the two-thirds that are still in that wicked mindset. All right? So I may go into more today, but I'm going to end this one here. Keep it short and sweet. With that, I'm going to say, I shall go on.